Hello. Beautiful day. Halloween day. 2017. Got my new toy. It's pretty fun in the snow. 73 F250 inline 6. Four speed. Standard. Anyways, I got another video about that. I <clears throat> want to show you this crane I installed the other day. Pretty nifty. I don't know how much this frame weighs. Um, it's probably over 500 pounds. I wouldn't go anywhere near it. That might be right at 500 pounds. Anyways, my rigging job isn't very good. <laughs> but uh, you just buy these cranes. They're more like an engine hoist. They just have a chain coming off the end. They don't come with this winch. Well, there is ones you can buy with the winch, but they, uh, the winch is actually up there on top. And you wouldn't be able to reach it from the ground. So I decided I could build it better. Bought this 1200 pound hand crank winch. I like the ratcheting feature they have. I just welded it. It's not the best welding job. Whew, it's embarrassing. But it'll hold for now. I was kind of in a rush. The weather wasn't very good. It's bought a snatch block with a hook on it, and I cut the one end off and welded it on there to get the big pulley. I could take it all apart and grease it. The cable runs up through the tube down I put a pulley on the end and it comes down through another snatch block and back up or you can run it without that snatch block but that uh, makes it a lot easier on the winch if you do that this hydraulic ram is kind of a cheap one I might put a better one in someday but it works good for now it's an old frame from a I think it was like a 72 Winnebago that I chopped up. The body was all rotten, but I chopped it all up to build this V8 trike. The Winnebago had a 318, a 727 automatic transmission, so those are all in this trike with the Winnebago rear axle. I think it's like a Yamaha front end. Pretty cool. Anyways, back to the crane. Oh, I loaded an engine block yesterday, no problem. a 305 out of a Chevy Caprice yeah it's just hanging up there terrible rigging it's just on this base bolts of the truck and then uh, you got a little block there doesn't work very good but it rotates on bearings rotates pretty easy you see where it was sitting you pick it right up you can winch it up, or you can jack or do both. You just put the bar in there and you can rotate it. I'm doing this one-handed, left hand. Once you get it where you want it, I'm gonna have to hold this with my camera hand. About where you want it, about center. Just tightening up the lock so it doesn't rotate back out on me. Neat. Doesn't look very good. Well, I'm going to be building a better one of those. <laughs> there we go. So this lock doesn't work very good at all. So I just set up this wrench just now. <laughs> there she be. See if I can let her down nice and gentle once I get it spun where I want. I want that yeah, right about there. You just this has a special end on it, fits into the jack thing. Oh, this is hard one handed. Wish I had a cameraman.
Oh, it's spinning back. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Oh, there goes my thing. <laughs> it's okay. We're good now. Oh, oh. Yeah. There. I loaded this frame by myself without putting any stress on my back. This is awesome. Oh, ignore my license plate number. These doors are pretty cool. They come out. I'll put the other one in. Take it for scrap. Get some money for it. Picked up this old truck the other day just for the engine. I'll do another video on that. Thanks for watching.